Welcome to Disco Disco Gaming. Don't forget to stay until the end of the video for the Disco Disco song of the week. And now let me show you how to set up dual screen gameplay on your Ein Thor using a nice little Android functionality. This works for emulation as well as for Android games. Before we do that, we gotta download some games. Uh, for that I prefer to use Total Commander, it's a file manager that you might know from the good old Windows day. You can run an FTP client on here, basically downloading files from your PC if it runs an FTP server or your network attached storage. I like this one a lot because I couldn't be bothered to uh, always take out my micro SD and put it in the PC, etc. etc. So this is quite easy and straightforward. There is not much we need to do to set this one up. Um, run the game of your choice from the top screen, then in the bottom screen go to settings, look for accessibility, there you should have the option magnification. You see an icon appears or otherwise you click on the first option to make the shortcut appear. Then you click on the icon and you move the cursor on the part of the screen that you want meant magnified and voila you have the on-screen map here in the example of Need for Speed Underground 2. Uh, works quite well unfortunately it doesn't go quite to the corners be it the bottom corners or the top corners so that's uh, a bit unfortunate here so you always get a bit more than you actually want to in terms of surrounding area but it works quite nice and uh, I think it's great for some of the games. So let's check out some of the other games that I tried to show you the functionality. We go back to PS2 and specifically GTA San Andreas. Here again you can drag it, unfortunately not really into the corner, which means in this specific game I don't like it too much because it's quite distracting. You see a lot also of the surrounding area of the map, so it's uh, it's really not ideal. Um, I guess better than nothing if you want to have that map there, but uh, yeah, on GTA I don't like it a lot. Um, we go back to the racing genre, Midnight Club 3. Here it is a bit better. Again, could be better if you could really zoom in and get rid of the of the other parts of the image here. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's an optional functionality. It's really up to you if you want to use it or not. I've also seen some examples online on people using it on Steam games, using GameHub Lite. There I think it is a bit easier depending on where the map is positioned or if you can freely move the map, for example. And now, last but not least, uh, Genshin Impact, an Android game. Here again, you can drag it to the map or even to the controls and use the bottom screen to control. Now I am aware that Genshin Impact has a, uh, an, in, an Android native control by now, but you sort of can only activate it as far as I know when you reach the first tower or checkpoint or whatever. That's why I have not activated it. Uh, but yeah, that should work and then you can use the bottom screen for the map if you'd like to. Hope you liked this short video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And now we are already at the last segment of the Disco Disco song, where today, feel free to check out my linked playlist for the second entry. It's Sabrina with Boys, 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 a true Italian disco classic, I would say, that came in right at the end of the popularity of Italo Disco. Tune in, hope you like it. Bye bye, take care.